All right. So uh, good morning again. The recording has started. Let's go ahead and start our stand up. So basically, we are going to be sharing our updates within the projects or the work we are doing within our groups and how how has been your progress yesterday and how far are you now and uh, do you have any blocker you are facing within your group that you want us to discuss about you let us know so let's get started um, how about we start with your group daisy Uh, good morning, everyone. Good morning. So, for my group, uh, we I gave a progress update yesterday. Uh, we have great dynamics. We give each other regular updates on Slack, and so far, we've managed to um, to add the Redash chat add-on for the front end, and we've also managed to connect to the database. Right now, we are working on. Um, implementing the back the back end um the back end system with launching yeah that's where we are at right now okay that's amazing any blockers um no, none at this point none at this point what what's uh which group number are you group four Group four. Okay, that's yeah. amazing. And all the group uh, members are performing. Everyone is active. Uh, the one member hasn't been active, uh, but we got the. We were told that um, he won't be participating for last week due to a personal problem. So it's just me and Getacho at at this point. Yeah. Okay, all right. Keep it up on your side. Okay, let's hear from Abraham. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, both of our progress. Uh, there was a blocker. Uh, we were unable to communicate with our backend from, uh, from Redash. So we are trying to intercept the request. Uh, Abraham, you are a bit breaking. Can you repeat the question? Uh, uh, is it clear now? Uh, we are doing good in our team. We have uh, managed to install both Redash and the extensions. We are able to communicate with Redash from our back end too, but we were not able to Send the request from uh, from uh, from the chat box to our backing. That was a blocker, but Hillary helped us uh, to fix that issue. And I think uh, now we are able to communicate with our backing. Uh, I have one question to ask for the tutors if they are here. Uh, how are we going to create the visualizations? Uh, uh, where I'm confused, like as a team, we are confused. Uh, are we going to accept what kind of visualizations they want from their users and display that visualization? Or how we are we going to create those visualizations? That's my question. But we are doing good. Yeah, as a team, we are progressing very great. Okay, so unless the user asks the Visualization type, you can choose one default visualization where the LLM visualize, maybe watch that, whatever. You can do that. So it could be any kind of bar. Uh, yes, it could be. You can give the, yeah, it could be any kind of, just instruct the LLM to display the query either by one of, you know, you, you can be creative. There's no any extra. Uh, rule for it, unless the user asks for specific part type, I mean, chart type. Okay, and communicating with Redash, uh, uh, 
we have we have managed continuity dash for API, but we have difficulty finding relevant documentations. So is there any kind of resource that you may suggest us to look for? What kind of uh, rules should we deliver to the data? I'm sorry, uh, for what you want the resource? For what purpose? Uh, I want the resource that the API documentation for Redash. Right. So uh, I think they have they, are, they have documentation, right, on the API documentation on the API REST API for Redash. Oh, yes, yes, they have the documentation, but it's uh, very short and it has limited information on it. It says, for example, you can pass queries to posts or you can get them to queries, but not a detailed approach like what kind of object or what kind of payloads that we should, that, that we must pass to the Redash. Yeah, There's any kind of resource. resource, but on Redash, the resources are very much limited. So, okay. The better way is, I think, to understand the source code and go from there. There's much resource on Redash, but uh, I'll try to share in the resource channel. Okay, thank you. All right, that's amazing. Um, Abraham, what, what's your group number? Group number three. Number three. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead with um, other people from other groups who are ready to share. You can raise your hands. All right, Wandera. Good morning, everyone. I hope you, hope you can hear me. Yes, we can. Uh, with uh, with my group, we're doing we're doing well. We we just have a bit of uh, uh, we keep running into I don't know like Docker errors. Like uh, uh, I installed Redash, I connected the deep, the database, I had a succession, but every time I run, I don't know these make Docker build compose something like that. Every time I try to re run it again, now it just doesn't work. So I keep running into that error and it keeps wasting my time. Even if I fix it. But uh, it, it might run today, and then if I run it later in the evening, it completely doesn't work. So I don't know, is there like uh, documentation on Docker that I can read from where I can like fix it so that it doesn't continuously keep happening? And then uh, I think uh, one of my, I don't know, my, my group mates is, I, I think he's away. I think he's probably away. He hasn't been on this week. So I don't know. I don't know if we can, I don't know, find find him or something like that. Yeah, but it, it would be good if we found him because, yeah, it, it's kind of limiting our performance because he's supposed to be working on something and we don't know if he's done with it or not. Yeah, so for the second, if something like this happened, it's better if you guys plan your work without him. I mean, since today is the last submission, so who who is his name? What is his name? Uh, Hermes. Hermes. He was on last week till the weekend, but then he hasn't been on yesterday and today, so I don't know. He was, he was working with you Pardon? last week? He was actively yes, working yes. last week? Yes, yes, we were actively working till the weekend. He was he was on. I, I just haven't, you know, heard from him today and uh, yesterday. But he was on till Sunday, but Monday he was with the whole day, so I don't know. Group, which group are you, one day? 11, 11. 11, okay, I'll try to reach him as well, but you, you guys should just try to finish up without him in case he is not okay. the sponsor. Okay. As for your first question, what is what uh, exactly is the error that you're getting? No, I, I keep running into some error with Docker. It keeps, sometimes it's like, uh, you know, I, I had to reinstall it again. I, I I reinstalled Docker again because I thought I don't know if it's having it, but the composer, the Docker composer build, there's always that error around the. Maybe if you can share the, the error on the slot, it's just it, it will be better. What kind of resource we will share you? Um, it will be uh, no, some, some of the errors, 
some of the errors I've gotten, some people have already asked so that for the blockers already, some people already had them. So I've, I've attempted to do what most people have done, but I don't know, it just keeps on and off. So I don't really know if it's my problem or it's like a general thing. Are you on Windows or Linux? Uh, so I'm just going to advise you again, whatever the error is, to just uh, put it on the Slack so everybody can help out and provide your resource. But if you want a general Docker resources, we can also provide that. I just don't think if we're not specific, that would be much helpful, but if that's what you want, you can help out. Okay. We can continue with the next question. Okay. All right. Uh, which other group is ready to share? You can raise your hand. All right, Ahmed, go ahead. Uh, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I, as I mentioned before, I was uh, having some issues with Windows. I solved it. And from my experience before the Windows is crashed, uh, that uh, I need to convert to Linux because uh, I faced a problem with redash installing, installation. So I uh, dual boot uh, currently while we are talking, the, the Ubuntu is uh, uh, under install, uh, under installation. So uh, by this, uh, I will be. I hope I will can uh, can catch up my uh, my team. Uh, my team making progress. They already are making the the schema and connected Redash with the database. And uh, we they uh, yesterday they are uh, uh, in launching trying to use Langchain to improve the, the food, uh, the, to improve the chatbot. So I will, will try to catch them today uh, before the submission so I can be, uh, be helpful. Uh, that's all, we are group one. Okay, all right, Ahmed. Um, and how is your team performing? Team members? Can you hear me, Ahmed? Uh, uh, they are good. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, uh, I think there is a delay. Mm -hmm. No, I can hear you clearly. You can go ahead. Uh, okay, uh, they are good. Uh, we are uh, making uh, communication. Uh, so yesterday we have uh, a meeting, and today we will we will uh, make another one. So uh, we will prepare ourselves to the presentation. Uh, that's all. Okay, that's amazing. Um, all right. So let's hear from another group. Um, let's pick randomly. Sala Salamawit. How is it going for you guys? Hello. Hey, yes, we can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Okay, um, okay so from yesterday, We've, we've just been refining what we already have and working on what we already worked on previously. Um, we had a meeting before and after the Q&A session. 
and try to work on some of the blockers that we had then. Uh, for today, um, me personally, I'm working on the visualizations and trying to connect to create that. And I know that he's working on integrating the backend um, into the Ruby dashboard because it was currently outside. He actually did it outside of the Ruby dashboard. So that's what we are doing today. And we have no blockers yet. For the group dynamic, it's really good, except we've already, I think we've already mentioned within the group in here, there's one member that's not active, and that's pretty much it for us. Thank okay. you. That is amazing. Keep it up with your group. Uh, let's hear from Grace. Um, good morning, good morning, everyone. Um, so um, I'm from group two. We've been able to make um, considerable progress. We've been able to um, successfully install um, Redash. So after the installation of Redash, we split the tasks. So I'm working on um, designing the schema, and my partner is working on um, documentation, and then we're going to move to the slides. So we're trying to work fast in order to meet up the, uh, with the deadline. So we have one um, inactive group member. I've tried to reach out to him, but no response. So yeah. What is the name again? Um, I think Abraham Zika or something. Sorry, I don't want to watch his son, but Abraham is his first name. Okay, uh, can you inbox Slack Rehmet with the name so that she can follow up on it? Okay, I'll do that. All right, yeah, please do that. Okay, uh, let's hear from another team. Anyone who has a blocker? that we can have a discussion about. Anyone? Okay, I'll pick randomly again, uh, just for the reports. Let's hear from um, Jerusalem. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Uh, so, uh, currently, both of my team members are not active. Uh, uh, I'm going to reach out to Ramit. Uh, I just found out one of my team members uh, will not continue with the training. Uh, and I'm trying to finish the task as much as I can. That's where I'm Okay. At. So, you mean both of them are not active? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, Rahmet, uh, do you want actually to take the queries with groupings or should we direct them to Rodas? Yeah, I think we should discuss this with Rodas. There's also another member, I think, okay. who has a similar, similar situation as Jerusalem. So. Okay. Uh, Jerusalem uh, and Grace and uh, Martin, please uh, inbox Rodas instead of Rahmet for quick help, inbox Rodas so that uh, she can look into it because she's the cohort manager. Um, okay, let's hear from other people. But otherwise, hey, Jerusalem, how are you performing even though you are still the only one active in the group? Any blocker? Uh -huh. So I'm trying to integrate the Redash with the backend. Uh, if I have any uh, problems, yes. I will communicate. That. Can you ask if you have, is this uh, is this happening also on last week? Were you working last week alone as well? Uh, last week there were we were communicating last week. Uh, I don't know what happened this week. Since when the communication stopped? Uh, so uh, I was communicating with one of my team members. Uh, he was, he just told me that he wasn't, he's not going to continue with the training. And the other one, the last communication we had was on uh, Saturday, uh, Friday, I think. It's too late. They should have let, let you know sooner. Anyway, just contact for us. Yes.
Okay. All right. Please, uh, Jerusalem, you can even do it like right now before you forget. Uh, okay. Let's okay. hear from um, Enoch. Enoch, good morning. Good morning. Okay, you can share us the progress with your group in the chat box if you're not ready to speak. And uh, let's go ahead and hear from um, Fatai. Good morning. Fatai, can you hear us? Abdusalam. Okay, please, if you're also not able to speak, let us know in the chat box. Uh, yes, can, can you hear me? Okay, yeah, we can hear you. Okay, so I and my team, we've made... Uh, progress yesterday we had about two meeting working on uh, a particular blocker and uh, we had blocker connecting uh red dash like we were able to connect red dash and added the plugin and at some point we had uh blocker uh in selecting data source like connecting red dash to postgres i think i posted i messaged Rahmat, and i also posted it on the group yeah someone was able to you know help and at some point, we also had an internal issue regarding ports, the, uh, the port connection. And uh, I and my team, we had a meeting that lasts for about two to three hours yesterday in order to solve that particular blocker. So currently, we've been able to solve it. And currently, um, we actually distributed the task. I will be working on uh, the, I'm already working on the front end, which is the uh, UI and the other team members are working on the uh lang chain so we can you know all uh connect everything together then so we'll be able to submit yeah so my team are uh, yeah has been, they've been very uh responsive uh we the the uh the responses are, are swift there's no issue at all Okay, uh, you were breaking on the last part. Uh, what did you say is not going well at all? Yeah, I said uh, when we connected, we were able to connect Red Dash uh, with the uh, Postgres, but we were, we were not able to read the data. So we had a meeting that lasted for about two to three hours late, uh, late night yesterday. And Fortunately, we were able to solve that particular blocker. So we can read those tables directly from Red Dash. And I'm currently working, we distributed the task, and I'm currently working on the UI, and the other team members are working on the uh, back end using uh, Langchain. So by today, we'll be having another meeting to know the progress, uh, to know the uh, progress of all the other team members. Okay, can, can I ask you what of the connection problem? This is since this is a problem that occurs a yes. lot. Yes, the uh, the issue was we were using ports five four three two on both on both Postgres and Red Dash. So I needed to change the ports the ports of uh, Postgres to one five four three two because when I run when I ran Docker RPS, it was showing the mapping was showing one five four three two to 5432 instead of 5432 to 5432. So we needed to change the port server, uh, the uh, the server on the Postgres to 15432, and we recreated a new database. Then we ran our Python code again in order to populate the new the data on the new ports we created. So by doing that, we were able to the, the Redash was able to connect to the Postgres and we were able to read the data directly from Postgres. So currently we are building the UI already, the front end. So you change the port of the your local machine or just the port on the connection? I didn't get that. You change the your local your local Postgres database port to one 
Yes, I I changed the uh, the ports to one five four three two instead Your of five machine. four three two. That is yes on my local machine. Okay, so hope that's it. Because uh, there's uh, someone who's not working. Thank you, Abdul for sharing. All right. Yeah. Yes, yeah, just for if there's uh, others who are not able to do this, I think this could be good information. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, let's go ahead with um, Shayla. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Hello. Yep, yeah, we can hear you. Oh, okay. Hi, guys. Hi, everyone. Um, so for my group, um, all of us are in attendance. All of us have been communicating. Um, we started our work last week and everything was going smoothly and we had split work. So I was supposed to work on the database schema. My call was supposed to work on connecting the database to Redash since um, Temeskin and I had not been able to install um, Redash yet. Um, and then Temeskin was supposed to work on the LLM and the chain and training the open AI. So um, everything was working well um, until uh, Friday when I decided to switch my operating system to Ubuntu. And um, and also I wanted to up my RAM and uh, yeah, and it's on SSD. Then what happened was um, I my laptop crashed and uh, yeah, after my laptop crashed, I wasn't able to do anything. So I had to start over again and uh, bring back Windows to my system. So currently I'm trying to um, install everything that we require so that I can continue with the with the schema with the yeah making the schema because I had made progress with making it a relational database I was able to relate the tables so that's where we are and um, according to Michael and Temeskin they were still working on their tasks by yesterday so that's where we are Okay, that's amazing. I'll keep it up, Sheila, with your teammates. Um, then let's hear from Michael. Good morning, Michael. Okay, good morning, guys. I am team with Sheila. So uh, our progress, yeah, I think, yeah, yeah, Sheila's PC is not working, but in my case i try to connect the database to reader i can't connect to my local pg admin so i used another tool mm -hmm. called superbase so using that i try to connect the database to the reader then i try to train the llm model with our database and uh, models but uh, my problem is that uh, when i try to use uh, chat.py it can't run it says there is no redash in your system it keeps saying that so yeah that's my question thank you thank you uh Rahmet, if you can help so i think like we're already discussing this on the spark you're just trying to run your the single uh python files only without running the whole project so when you do that the, by just saying Python chat, uh, chat.py on your terminal, it will not dictate those imports immediately, it just will consider them as a package. So all the imports will be considered as modules, packages that are not installed. So instead of doing that, just when there's when you make a change on those modules, try run the whole project with the make build, make compose build, and make up finally, and you'll see the change. The way how you run it is wrong. So uh, maybe you can share it on the Slack. If there's anyone who is able to do that, they can share you. But uh, you have to run the whole project to see the change, not only the single project. So if in, there's anyone here who who, uh, who try to run the project, the single files from the handlers folder, 
without running the whole project, you can unmute and share your insights. Okay, you can also just uh, start a conversation on the Slack, Michael, so maybe you can find different perspectives. Okay, thank you. Okay, all right. So we are at like four minutes past time, but uh, let's give this time for any question. Please don't leave if you have a question. Do you have anything you want to discuss now? But remember, we also have a Q&A session right this afternoon uh, with the technical team. So if it's something that you would like to hear in details, then we can be covering that during that session. But if it's a quick question, let's have it now. Uh, yes, Jabez, go ahead. OK, good morning. My question is on the submission. Uh, I think it's uh, it says uh, Tuesday, May 14, on the technical document. But on the notion, uh, I think it's it's set for uh, May 15. I don't know if I'm wrong. Mm. Is the final submission right? Yes. Yeah, it, may, it might be some uh, writing error, so the submission is today. Today, oh, okay, so the, okay. Yeah, today is the final submission. One thing that I'll say for all of you is if you are if you are done with the question, I will start, sorry. I just, uh, is it, uh, do we also include the PowerPoint for the presentation or just the, the document? The blog that I have to say. Yeah, what uh, links do you saw on your Tenix account? Do you see for the slide submission? Uh, no, I, I didn't check that. I just checked the technical document and it says the PDF uh, blog link and uh, also the GitHub link. I don't see the PowerPoint on the yeah. technical document. Yeah, I don't think there is a PowerPoint submission, but I will check. Uh, if there is, I will inform you, but I don't think there is one. The okay. presentation slide, you will just bring it on the presentation day. Okay. Okay, so one thing that I want to say is, I, I think by now, I'm, I mean, you all, you all know what's expected from the project, but if things are getting hard to get it done on time, and maybe there are loopholes how you can just make the LLM get that data and make the connection, it's just to make you ready for the presentation, you can do that. But if you can't do it as expected on the document, on the channel document, that is what we want. I'm just giving you options instead of just presenting, this doesn't work, this doesn't work, because this didn't work for me, I did this. Just to see, you have tried everything, but you just decided for a presentation or just for submission, you have done this and you'll work on making the right way of doing the project some other day, but for now I have done this because this keeps me give, it gives me too much error and it was, I wasn't able to do it on, point, on time. So I'm just giving you that, this loophole that you can be creative on how you finish up the project. I hope that's clear. Okay. okay. Um, let me hope every it, it's clear for everyone, but if it's not clear, please raise your hand so that we can clarify before we leave. The presentation is starting from tomorrow. Um, was it shared? That's, okay. Anyways, yeah. the presentation starts tomorrow. They are starting uh, from tomorrow. Please uh, check the schedule. Yeah, there is a okay, Ahmed. Uh, sorry, uh, my internet was uh, breaking. I didn't hear what Ahmed said. Yeah, I'm. I'm saying 
there is this requirement that we put on the recommendation, right? How you should do the project. So I'm saying that is what we want. If you've done it correctly, that's how we want that. In case this time is running out and you are not able to finish up everything, if there's a way, you can just make sure the project is done by not how we required it, but by some other means. I'm just giving you the chance that you can do it. You can be creative and use other methods to finish up the project. If you can do it as required, but if not, uh, you can be creative and try to meet the target in some other way. Okay, amazing. So thank you, Eva, for joining. Let's call it um, a meeting and then go focus on the uh, on the group work we have, but also on the sessions we have today. We just have a career session and also a Q and A session, and um, yeah, that will be it for today. So enjoy your day, and um, yeah, remember to ask for help when you need one. Put something in the Slack channel so that we can have a discussion about it. Okay, thank you everyone. Have a great day.